Hey there guys, it's Jules here with another spiritual segment. <clears throat> oh man, uh, life's been real tough. Um, but what you gotta remember is, if consciousness was a, if your mind was a fan, you know, you, you, you switch it off but it doesn't stop immediately, it slows down, it builds, it, it loses momentum. And that's what you gotta do with your mind. You, you might get frustrated like, I'm meditating but it's not working, you gotta stick with it, stay in the moment. And eventually the mind will, immediately the mind will start slowing down, but slowly over time, and then before you know it, all at once, you'll be there. And, um, so, stay optimistic, stay positive, you got this, as per usual, you got this. Um, it's been tough, I just get these, like, thoughts that I, the thing is, Bodies are separate, minds overlap, and the spirit is one. So when you do think, people pick up on that energy. They almost know what you're thinking. Um, so that's why it matters doing this spiritual thing. But you can't just, exp don't be too hard on yourself and want yourself to just stop immediately and just pull yourself out of it. I mean, it's possible it happened to Eckhart Tolle. It happened to, I think, Adi Ashanti. It happened to some other people I know. Um, but, um, dog there. um, yeah, it happens to some people, they get very lucky, but, um, that's not most people. You gotta, um, and you gotta, if you put in the hours and you put in the work, you'll become a stronger person rather than just being lucky. You'll know how to deal with those down days. And you're trusting yourself. But basically, you got to say, okay, look, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to think negative thoughts. It's going to happen. Um, but as long as I stay in the field of vision, visual vision, auditory, audible vision, um, any of the senses, whatever you want to use. You can't really use taste and smell too much. You can use taste when you're eating. And you can use smell when you're eating or whatever. But, you know, it's not really going to work if you just go on for a walk. Like, I have, you got to use something. Look, I find eyes the easiest. Why? Because when you're not looking, it's very obvious. When, and when are you not looking? When you're in your mind. When you're thinking. So. So, yeah. Exercise that muscle of discernment. And increase the... distinction between awareness and thought that'll come over time and eventually you'll have more willpower more will to think what you want and not think what you don't want to think more will to act how way you want to act and more intelligence to speak yeah it's powerful stuff highly recommend it if you're on this channel already, you're probably meditating, which is good. Um, just keep it up and it just gets better and better. It's the most important thing you can do in life because it is life. Why? Because when you're looking at life, when you're smelling the roses, that's meditation. That's all it is. Looking at your hands, looking at whatever, that's meditation. And when you're not meditating, you're not looking. When you're not looking, you're not acknowledging life. When you're not acknowledging life, you're not living life. Unless you're thinking about what you're going to do or you're thinking about something important. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys have a good day. You got this. I'll see you later. Peace.